Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of AC Discovery, my weekly anime and comic discovery show. So even though I'm here at PAX West, uh, I did sit down and watch a couple episodes of Death Note to continue my trek through that show last night. Uh, so today we're going to talk about renewal and abduction. So uh, up first we had Renewal, which was a very weird episode of television because, uh, you know, it's a 22-minute-ish show. And the first 13 minutes were just all recap in, in the form of like a good, good old-fashioned TV uh, clip show. Um, just kind of telling us the the beat-by-beat beat notes of everything up to this point from the beginning of the story up to Elle's death, which we left off with in the last show. Um, so it only left about eight minutes of new stuff to happen in this show. Um, and, it, and admittedly, it was a pretty busy eight minutes that we, we had. We had uh, Light taking over the guise of El and Watari um, and, and in how he presented those characters to the police. You also have him proposing to Misa to move to live together. Um, but not, not making a wedding proposal, just saying, hey, we should live together uh, to kind of you know use as his cover. And so now you... You're going to have both Kira and Second Kira um, under the same roof, which is a, a you know frightening uh, possibility. And then you have him kind of setting up maybe the new status quo. Um, he basically clears up, wraps up the Yatsuba storyline by killing Weddy and Iber and and all of the Yatsuba group members, um, just kind of doing away with all of them in his role as Kira. Uh, and then you know we see kind of time is passing and. Kira has become normalized, uh, somewhat even praised in, in society by certain countries and stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, it seems like this episode ends with a new status quo kind of in place. Um, but then the, the little cliffhanger ending that we end up with is uh, a, uh, a transmission that gets sent out to an unknown party uh, saying L is dead. So it seems like Light's ruse as being L isn't going to hold water much longer. All in all, I think a very weak episode of television. I don't know if I've ever seen an episode of television like this, really, where you spend so much time building a clip show together to kind of bring everybody up to speed, and then so little time on, like, new content. Usually it's just entirely a clip show or something like that, um, or you have, like, characters reminiscing about all of their crazy, wacky adventures or something like that. And this was just very much like, nope, we're just going to go through, here's what happened, here's every little story beat from the last 20-plus episodes, um, and and here's where we're going from from here. Uh, so, it like, judging this against everything else, it's basically you're only looking at, like, an eight-minute eight, um, eight episode. And while they do a lot in those eight minutes... Uh, it doesn't really, you don't have, like, the good interactions um, moving forward. And I think we also get in this kind of really the first signs of maybe what a detriment it is that, that Light is, or that L is gone. Um, even Light, I think, kind of mentions in here that it's not as fun without L. Um, and, and that's, I think, it's going to be a hard thing for the show to recover from, in my opinion. Um the, the back and forth, you know, the Holmes and Moriarty kind of uh, relationship, the dynamic between uh, L and Light, I think was one of the driving, one of the strong factors of the the beginning of this series. And so um, having that completely thrown out the window for the end is going to be uh, a, an interesting challenge to overcome. And it looks like they're going to try and overcome it in the form of the next episode, Abduction, which introduces us to Roger, Mello, and Nier. Um, Roger being kind of an, uh, an older gentleman, maybe uh, running one of the orphanages that we uh, we found out that Watari used to run. Um, and Mello and Nier seem to be kind of protégés of L, um, or they were all maybe trained together or something, because you have, effectively, you have them going, um, L was L, you have Mello presumably being an M and near going by N later in this episode. Um, so you have L, M, N. Uh, it's interesting. I, I immediately kind of see that Mello and near seem to be like L split apart into two people. You have Mello um, being, uh, you know, maybe overly reckless at times um, and overly emotional a little bit, um, but also like just 
always eating chocolate. He's pretty much always got food, as we saw L. Uh, and then N is much more cold and calculated and looking at the whole light is dead, sit your L is dead situation as, uh, as like a puzzle to be solved. So it looks like the two of them are going to go completely different routes to maybe try and catch Kira, um, or at least, um, you know, eliminate Kira's threat, whether or not they want to take that for their own, as it looks like M or Mello might want to do, um, or they want to, you know, bring Kira to justice like N seems to want to do. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how their different methodologies um, uh, find results. Mello here, you know, kind of takes in, runs in with a gang, uh, and kidnaps, like, effectively, I think, like, the chief of police to try and find out where they hid the death note that was recovered after uh, Haruchi's, Higuchi's um, uh, death. And, uh, and N has gone through and created, like, an anti-Kira task force with the FBI and the CIA and spent years doing all this. I think, like, four years has passed, basically, over the course of the last two episodes. Um... So definitely time has passed and Kira's still been operating in all that time. So there's, you know, got to be a lot of, a lot of free space in the jail cells or something like that. Um, uh, yeah. So lots of it, it'll be interesting to see, I think more of the, what the world looks like now that so much time has passed. Um, but also I think this is kind of setting up the end game of the series of, okay, the, the dynamic that we'll have between Kira and L or not Kira and L, Kira and M and N. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where where we go from from there uh, among all three of those um, you know different parties now. So those are my thoughts on these couple episodes of Death Note. Uh, definitely setting up a new status quo for the series and and kind of laying the groundwork for its end game in this last third of the series. I don't know if it'll be as interesting or as compelling to me as all the stuff between Light and L. Um, uh, like I said, in these two episodes, the the absence of L is definitely felt, um, uh, even though you have it, and maybe heightened so because you see so much of L in some of the other characters, but they're still not L. They're parts of L. They're fragments of L. Um, and I want L. I miss L. So. Those are my thoughts on these episodes. Uh, let me know what you think of Death Note in the comments below. As always, I've been your host Trevor Starkey from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at Starkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.